Hello guys, what's good? How are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Leah for those of you who are new and welcome to another vlog. It feels like I haven't vlogged in a little while now and I thought you guys could just spend the day with me and see what I get up to today. I've got a few different little things planned so I thought I'd just bring you guys along with me. I definitely want to vlog more but honestly my life is a little bit dull. Just a little bit dull and I also feel like my life is very spontaneous like things just happen randomly so yeah anyway so first things first i received a really exciting parcel from the udi it was so crazy because i was literally looking on their website and then a few months later they reached out to me and i was like clearly i have manifested this i've clearly manifested the udi so i'm going to open mine with you guys now it's literally like a blanket hoodie kind of all in one giving all the comfort vibes and i'm honestly so excited to open it because it's starting to get cold here in the uk and i don't deal well with the cold so i'm hoping that this will save all my cold issues <laughs> i'm literally trying to hide my address but it literally says on the parcel i have a feeling we're going to become best friends because it just has it on the back there as well it's so cute <laughs> right let's open it Guys, I know this is slightly dramatic. I never want to take this off. Oh my God. I literally feel like I'm wearing a cloud. Like I've never put something on that is so soft, warm and cuddly. Like, oh, this is actually stunning. And it's super long as well. It is like a one size fits all situation. It's super long. It literally, I'm five foot three and it's like gone past my knees. It's got cute like pockets here super cozy honestly this is like the coziest thing i've ever put on in my life like i honestly love it i went for the blue tie-dye design but honestly they've got so many like cool different designs like i think they've got a pink tie-dye one and then they do like so many different ones they've got like a harry potter theme one they've got like avocado and toast but yeah i just thought that the tie-dye one was super cute but honestly this is incredible like honestly all winter i'm gonna be wearing this hoodie like i'm gonna actually be wearing wearing it all the time honestly it's incredible and I love as well that on the wrist it's like cuffed because I feel like that just adds to like the cozy vibes and it just means that like the heat isn't kind of escaping through your sleeves guys I honestly can't get over how soft and cuddly this feels and honestly I can feel myself getting warm already like I actually love this. So guys, if you want to get your own Udi, I do have a discount code, which is Leah30 for £30 off. And yeah, I highly recommend it because honestly, this feels incredible. You will be seeing me wear this in many more vlogs. Okay guys, so I'm actually getting a facial in about 20 minutes. So I go to Skin Envy in the jewellery quarter. And yeah, the last time I had a facial was about four weeks ago. So it's time to go again. I'm so excited to see what we do today. But my skin, honestly, is looking so good at the minute. Like, this is the best that my skin has looked for a while. And yeah, I'm just super, super happy. I actually want to ask her about getting a chemical peel today because I feel like a chemical peel will just give my skin like a good reset. And then, like, I don't know, I feel like products will work better and things like that. So yeah, I'm going to ask her about getting a chemical peel today. And yeah but yeah the main thing that i'm working on at the minute is like on my cheek here i had like random breakouts like really randomly and like it's definitely like, little dark marks and i just want to like try and fade them as much as i can but yeah i did do a video last week on my nighttime skincare routine so make sure you check it out but i'm actually going to bring you guys along for the facial today so you can see what she does to my face and yeah well hopefully she lets me film if not then i'll just have to update you guys after So is this a cleanser? Yeah, so we're just doing new double cleanser now. The second cleanser is like a raspberry cleanser. Yeah, it's it's got good. yeah salicylic acid and tea tree and just to help with any oiliness in the skin. So I definitely want to get into the peels. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll do a passive appeal on you today. Okay. Your facial. Okay. So I do include that for a lot of people. Yeah. I find it really helps a lot with brightening the skin, texture, pigmentation as well. Yeah. To we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I was watching them on YouTube and people's face were like fully peeling, but I'm like, do you oh, yeah. do that yeah, one? Yeah, <laughs> I do that one, but with this facial, I do like more of a superficial one. Yeah. So you might be fully peeling, yeah. but it still works the same way. It's yeah. just very gentle. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
because I was like, oh my god, their skin is like uh, hanging off. Falling off, yeah. It's like proper shedding off the snow. Yeah, literally. <laughs> a lot of people are normally scared of having pills as well, but now more and more people want them. Yeah. I feel like it just looks like a good like restart kind of thing. Oh, definitely. So you're gonna get started on your dumb pain in that way, Yeah. Can you this way for me? And what was it, the coconut and enzyme? Coconut and papaya enzyme. So yeah, it helps to hydrate, but the yeah. papaya is a natural enzyme exfoliation, so it helps to brighten your skin as well. Yeah. And do you put papaya in your mask as well? Um, yeah, that's got papaya extract in it too. So yeah. again, it's the whole aim of helping to exfoliate and yeah. brighten any dark um, areas in your skin. So like, when do extractions feel better? <laughs> I don't think they do. <laughs> I mean, I had a facial the other day, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like, when, cause I don't have them often. Yeah. Like, wow, yeah, it's really strange. <laughs> it is, honestly. I'm gonna start on your high frequency now, I'm just gonna feel a little more and even on the skin. Yeah, I Blood flow and circulation in your skin. It's gonna feel a bit of pressure. Does that feel okay? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Compared to the extractions, it's just it's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And have you started introducing your new treatments yet? Yeah, so we've got the wet dry microdermabrasion. Yeah. Uh, that's coming in like. I've got the machine and a few people have booked in for it next week. Okay. Because I'm so busy, it's really hard to get people, you know, people in for it. Yeah. Um, so there's that one. So it uses vacuum suction like this, mm -hmm. but with a diamond tip right. marker down. Yeah. So you get the benefits of lymphatic drainage, but it helps to deeply exfoliate your skin while using uh, like different aqua, we call them aqua fuse serums. So yeah. you've got a hydration one, and one to help clear the skin, and then one to help brighten any areas of pigmentation. So they contain your actives like AHAs, BHAs, um, niacinamide, like licorice fruit, great mm, ingredients to help brighten the skin. Yeah, cool. That's coming soon. And then I've got doing back facials as well now. Um, yeah, that's about it. And then some um, October specials. So you know the enzyme that I used on you? Yeah. Um, but one with pumpkin in, which again, yeah. uh, natural source of vitamin A and C to help exfoliate and brighten the skin. I feel like I just want to try everything. <laughs> <laughs> and are you getting another person here? Yeah, she started already. Oh my god, no way. Yeah, so that's what I'll end. The room's upstairs getting done for her. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be quite nice. Yeah, I think it'd be good. Because you're always so full. <laughs> So we're opportunity for my new clients to get yeah, in. Definitely. I'm trying to know exactly how I do these treatments anyway, temperature again. Okay? Yeah, it's fine. I just want to feel a little cool when it goes on your skin, okay? Okay. This peel, um, it feels slightly warm and hot for about three seconds. It should die down quite quickly, okay? Okay. Right, so you'll be all right. So I'm gonna get started on the forehead area, okay? Okay. Okay. Right guys, so I'm back from my facial, looking super, super glowy. I can't lie, 
I mean, you'll have seen the footage already, but I feel like at some points, like when I wasn't meant to be recording, I was recording. And when I was meant to be recording, I wasn't recording. Like I couldn't see what I was doing for some of it. So hopefully the footage is good. If not, then I'll, you know, add some extra bits in or whatever. But yeah, honestly, my skin is feeling so, so good. And even she was saying like my skin is looking very glowy. She did say my skin was a little bit dry, but I think it's just the weather, like the temperatures started to drop. So yeah, I might have to get like a extra moisturizing cream or something like that. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm happy with it. I actually just went to Tesco because tell me why it's like half 11 and I haven't even had breakfast. Like. I actually prioritise getting the facial over making breakfast for myself, so I'm just gonna do that now and then I just have like a bit of like housework to do, like I need to change my bed in, like hoover up and things like that. All those exciting things, you know, all the things we love. Right, so I've got about an hour and then I need to take my high maintenance jobless dog to the groomers. Yeah, he's going to the um, groomers today finally because he just, he like he gets hair in his eyes all the time. So he needs to get it trimmed and then yeah, he'll have like a full body trim. I don't know if I wanna do it too short because obviously I am aware that we're about to step into winter so I don't want him to be cold. Um, so yeah, nothing too short, just like a bath and a blow dry. So, yeah, this dog is so high maintenance. Um, so yeah, I feel like today is a bit of a self-care day for me and the dog, um, lucky him. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna do some housework and it's Wednesday, so I'm also gonna listen to the Receipts podcast. That is like my Wednesday ritual. Like usually what I do is go to the gym, come back, make breakfast, listen to the Receipts, and then the girls' bathroom. Like Those are like my Wednesday rituals, so. Right, we are off to the groomers. To Louis, this way. This way. Right, so the dog is at the groomers. He goes to the groom room um, in Pets at Home at Sally Oak. I don't know what the lighting's doing. Obviously, I'm sat in the car and the weather is like, literally when I stepped out of the house, it was like a full-on storm and now it's sunny, so I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I've just come to the new retail park in Sally Oak and I think I'm gonna go to Costa, get a quick drink. Uh, I'm just gonna sit in the car to be honest. I don't know why I didn't bring any headphones with me or anything like that. Um, but oh well, we move. Okay, so I have my little green tea and I got like a lemon tart as well. But Costa honestly reminds me of when I used to work in retail and like every Saturday I'd go and get like a little ham and cheese toasty, get like a hot drink. And um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I used to get lemon tarts back then as well. Like, yeah, it's just, it's like a nostalgic place to me. I don't really go that often now because I do prefer Starbucks, but yeah. I feel like I need to get like a little camera car mount because I feel like I'm always vlogging in the car and like having to hold it up in the car is honestly such a pain so I'm like do I get a car mount but then also I'm like would it work on my car <laughs> like the way that my dashboard situation is set up I'm like does it even make sense like I'll show you like because it has this screen I'm like if I put it there like would it be blocks kind of thing I don't know I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know. But yeah, I just think it would be so much more convenient because then that would mean that I can vlog and drive and talk at the same time, do you know what I mean? Whereas anytime I wanna talk, like I have to obviously not be driving. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but also I'm going to an awards night soon in a month. And I was thinking, should I do like a get ready with me, like glow up vlog kind of thing? Like if you'd be interested, then let me know. Cause I think I'm gonna get my hair done. Probably another facial, nails, outfit. I'm getting my makeup done actually. So yeah, I was thinking of doing like a glow up vlog, you know, zero to hundred, that vibe. Um, but yeah, let me know. Um, so yeah, I just have to wait for my dog now. Um, she said it will take between an hour and a half and two hours. Like, I don't know how it takes them so long to groom this small, tiny animal, um, but it takes how long it takes. And he does always look so good after, like, he just looks so smart, like, just a smart little boy. Like, oh, he's just the best. Um, 
Oh my god, I'm actually one of those people that's obsessed with their dog. Like, I'm actually embarrassed. Like, I can't cope. See, I'm just gonna wait for the dog. I'm still listening to the receipts, and then I think I'm gonna listen to the girls' bathroom. And then I've actually brought a book with me. Um, I started reading a book recently. Let me get it. So I posted like a few pages of it on my story, and a few of you guys have been asking what I'm reading, and it is actually 101 essays that will change the way you think. <laughs> it looks like this. Um, yeah, but so far the book is actually really, really good. Like, it's a lot different to how I thought it would be. So I thought it was just gonna be like 101 different people talking about their like life experiences and like, yeah, just like crazy experiences in their life kind of thing. And then I thought they'd like bring it all together in a book and like you'd read the essay and be like, oh my God, this person's life, like I can't believe that happened to them kind of thing. But it's actually more of like a personal development kind of vibe i'd say like more like a self-help personal development like but yeah i think i'm only like 16 essays in or something like that but like so far i've read essays about like happiness emotional intelligence the last one i read was something like 101 things that are worth thinking about more than whatever you're worrying about at the minute and then i think the next one that i'm getting on to is something about being in your 20s but like it's really cool because ugh, this light now the sun is like fully blinding me um, but so far I'm really enjoying the book and it's really easy to read and get into and they often make kind of like bullet points on like the different points and yeah so far I'm really enjoying it like I just want to like get into it. I'm excited to read the one about being in your 20s like I was going to read it last night before bed but I was just like too tired um but i'm excited to get into it i'm trying to like get back into reading again because the thing is with me yeah if i like pick up one bad book it puts me off for ages like I'm, i feel like i'm not really into like your typical self-help books like i i do like self-help books and obviously personal development but they have to be like a certain type of vibe and this book has a vibe that i like yeah i don't know yeah i don't know i feel like there's a certain vibe of book that I like and a lot of like the self-help books that you see people talk about they're like not really my vibe um but yeah anyway that was like a massive tangent <laughs> Louis come here guys look at him <laughs> oh, he always looks so smart Louis you look lovely look at you so I'm quickly gonna make some food I'm just gonna roast this cauliflower and then i'm actually getting my nails done because ew <laughs> like these nails actually need to go this one has been killing me is it even gonna focus yeah that nail there is actually killing me okay so here's my cauliflower it's definitely a lot nicer than it looks some bits of the cauliflower did get burnt because the oven was too hot and yeah. Um, and then I've got my papadoms over here. These are just Tesco's own. Uh, I've got this mango chutney, which is incredible. Let me find the thing. Yeah, this one. Amazing. Okay, so I look a whole hot mess, but I'm just en route to get my nails done, which I'm so glad because this nail is broken so, so badly. And you know, like, when you wear acrylic nails and you've broken one really far down you know when it's at the point of like if i fucking catch this nail again i'm going to actually vomit like i'll actually throw up even like on the way there i'm like i know that i'm gonna be like catching my nail as i'm driving so i'm just like right i just need these nails like i need these nails shorter i'm just going for like the natural vibe like this is this is too much like i'm actually in pain so guys it's a bit dark so you can't really see but here are my new nails they are so so short i'm literally a whole new babe like they are so short but i literally love them they look so so natural okay i'm actually looking a little bit naked naked but i am actually off to my pole dancing class tonight so tonight we are fully fully dancing in heels and the routine we're doing is doja cat streets um, this will be my fourth time doing this routine so I hope I can actually do it because dancing isn't really my strong point like the dancing side of pole isn't where I am um, thrive but I'm hoping that this routine I'll actually be able to do it and I'll get a good video I might insert some like clips here but if the video is good I'll put it on my poll Instagram page um, I'll leave it linked below but don't hold your breath because yeah, dancing is not my strong point, uh, but I like to give it a go. Oh, 